Cool Planet and NC. I'm Tamika coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video. So y'all, in this video, we're going to be going over the garden. It's a garden tour, y'all. It's that time, my weekly garden tour. So, with that being said, we're going to see what's the group, um, how far, what's producing, all that stuff. Now, um, it will get to the point to where I will start doing daily um not garden tours but different things in the garden that grew like overnight because yes y'all stuff grows so fast overnight produces so quick when everything get you know woke up and all that so with that being said let's do our weekly garden tour i hope you guys enjoy sit back and relax let's go okay you guys so we're gonna start over here this is the cabbage now i'm having some infestation going on with the cabbages and Basically, it's because of the weather, y'all. The weather. I always be trying to do cabbage and broccoli in this weather, but it's very, very hard. And, like, we are above temperatures right now. It's 90 degrees today. And please tell me why 90 degrees, the heat index is 100. So, that is not good for cabbage, broccoli, and stuff like that. Most of your brassicas and all that good stuff because they really are fall um, crops. They do good in good weather. So, if I continue to have an issue, I'm probably going to pull them up, use them pots, and that's what you have to remember. When something don't go right with the weather in your area, pull it up and put something in that does, okay? So, that's all the cabbages. I'm still trying to see what I'm going to do and how it's going to produce. So, right down here in the back to the roots um, raised bed, I have my African marigolds. They are blooming. Excited about that. Uh, right here is some um, petunias. Y'all excuse, um, excuse the noise. This is an aircraft crawling. <laughs> an aircraft flying over. <laughs> it wouldn't do that every time I get on, every time I start recording. But, um, so right here is some petunias. And then down here is some salvia. And then over here, I did these from um, from seed. These are some African um, marigold cracker jack blend. So yes, y'all, yes. And if y'all watched the video where I did the um, the cut flowers today, one thing I will say that I forgot to do in that video, y'all, and I should have known better, but it just slipped my mind. Once you cut most of your flowers, you need to put them directly in water. And the reason why is these kind of got droopy on me. But then I did, I was able to, um, after a couple of hours, I was able to get them back rehydrated. So what you want to do when you're cutting your greenery or any of your flowers, you're going to cut it and put it right into water. Have you a jar of water or something? Because what happens is it'll start trying to heal itself and it'll seal off. And then when it seal off, it pretty much dies because it won't take in no water. So make sure you cut your stem. When you cut your stem, it needs to go right in water, okay? So they are doing good. And like I said, I started those from seed. So coming on over here, as these are some empty buckets that I have to put some stuff in. Um, right here we have a squash white scallop. Um, I started that from seed, y'all, and it is doing really, really good. My lemon squash right here, I started from seed also. It is doing good, y'all. My acorn squash is right here. This is a cream of a crop, and this is a cream of a crop, and I started those from seed. Right here um, is a crooked neck squash. I don't know what's going on with the leaves of this squash. Um, I want to see what it's going to do. This is the only one that looks like this. Um, I just don't know. Um, and I, I bought this. Um, it was a seedling. But it was one of the seedlings that had, I think, had got hit by that frost at Lowe's. So, yeah. Right here, I'm going to have to um, come out here. And it's getting time for me to start trellising these up. I'm looking for spiders, y'all. Start trellising these up because that was the plan. These are squash. Look how big they are going, y'all. Look how big. And I want them to go up vertically as much as possible, which I'm going to be using this part right here, too, to kind of, like, hip it up. But this are, I mean, they have grown so much, y'all. All these are squash. All of these. And we're starting getting some flowering and stuff. So we're going to have squash very, very soon, okay? But you see, squash grows very quickly. And they grow very big. It is a big plant. All right, that's why I told y'all to put one per bucket, okay? All these are squash. They're doing really, really good. Okay, y'all. 
right here is as you can see I was actually looking for one and hubby saw one right here we have a flowering that's normally where your fruit is on okay so squash very very soon I was trying to get down here and he said you got a flower I was trying to get down here because I wanted to show y'all this one where I can show you a little better that is a nice size spider right there I, these spiders y'all these spiders but there's a fruit if you can own them you can get over in here there's a fruit right here on this one be careful them spiders no joke And that should be a squash. That way you guys can see how it starts to look um, when it's grown. So all these are squashes over here. Um, coming on around. These are squash, squash. These over here, some of these are zucchini squash, y'all, that y'all just saw. And these are straight neck squash. Oh, and this is another one that looks like that too. That looks like that plant over there, but it's growing. But it say it's a, it maybe it's, it's a straight neck squash. So last year I don't remember my squash looking like that. Um, right here is a lemon squash, and I started that from seed. Right over here is spaghetti squash, and I did start these from seed. All of these I think are spaghetti. Nope, that's a white um scallop, and this is a spaghetti squash. And like I say, I started all those from seed. So, um, now we're going to go down over here where we got the peppers. Right here is red bell pepper. Um, they are doing really, really good. Over here is my Carmen Italian pepper. You can follow me. Oh, I'm going to do two at a time. Over here is green bell pepper. Carmen Italian. This should be another green bell these are sweet bananas um come and tie in this is the cool appeal and i told you guys to say that they are better when they turn red they're much sweeter and i need the sweeter version of it um this is a cool appeal too these two are but um sweet banana peppers down here is the hibernara this is a hibernara pepper right here and spider web <laughs> this right here is a celebrity um tomato um right here hold up y'all oh, right here are serrano peppers and this is a hot chili pepper okay so that's what we have right there so now we're going to come on over to this area, these are tomatoes, tomatoes. So we got different type of varieties of tomatoes, celebrity and all that. And I'm not gonna go up and down all these because I did these, I, I say these in every one of my things. But if you could come over here, I can show them where we have tomatoes coming. Um, right here, we have a nice size tomato. And let me see, I'm gonna give y'all the name of this one. This is the better boy, the better boy right here. And then over here, this is another better boy. And he has more, he has a whole lot of tomatoes on him. And over here, oh, there's my purple bell. That is a yellow bell right there. Purple bell, red, another red bell right there, y'all. Um, that's a cow, cow horn pepper, jalapenos peppers right here, red cayenne pepper right, right here. Um, and then over here on this side is nothing but tomatoes. Nothing but tomatoes, different type of tomatoes. And you can see how much the tomatoes have grown, y'all. I mean, they are just taking off. All these are tomatoes. Even this one right here, 
If y'all notice, I told you the leaves was doing something funky um, at the bottom, but all these up here is doing good. I mean, I just don't know. I don't know, but it's doing good and it's flowering. So I'm letting it do its thing, okay? I'm doing what I'm supposed to do to it, and then I'm letting it do what it do. Um, right here is a Cherokee purple. It's all nice and tight and doing what it's got to do. These are more pepper plants. Um, the mammoth jalapeno. That's another mammoth jalapeno. Um, poblano pepper. Those are really, really fun to grow, you guys. That's another poblano. Right here, I started these from seed. These are my tomato yellow pear. Um, that's one, this one. And like I said, I started those from seeds. Right here is my okra. And many of y'all saw that I did the okra, um, transplanted the okra the other day. So this is the Clemson Spineless. This is some red burgundy. This is red burgundy. These are sweet corn. The golden and the white um, in those buckets. Over here in the raised bed, I told you I have cucumbers. I am going to be putting some else over here. So these are my straight eight. And all of my cucumbers, well, except for these in the back, these I bought from um, Lowe's. But my cuckoo melons is up here in the front where I'll show you guys in a minute. These are my straight eight. I started all these from seeds. Um, and they are doing really, really good. They're going to be trellising and making their way up this um, tomato cage that I extended out. Um, from right here. And then I did some from seed and put them in buckets. So those of you that's doing them in buckets, because that's how I normally grow them in buckets, to let you know that you can do that. Um, this is my cuckoo melons. All them, y'all probably saw me transplant these. I did from seed. Back here, we got some white wonder cucumbers, some lemon cucumbers, some telegraph cucumbers, um, whew, all type of cucumbers, um, pointer cucumbers, just all types, okay? And right here is another straight eight and a bush cucumber, okay? Okay, you guys, so right here is my super sweet tomato 100. I started those from seeds too. So they are growing and doing good. So now we're about to go over here to, uh, I guess, yeah, we could do this. No, let's come back this way, y'all. <laughs> well, we, we did all that area. We'll just go over here now. I did show y'all the flowers um, that I have in front of the tomatoes and peppers. These are my pansies, and I cut some of the pansies today to make the flowers in the vase. I have some purple, some white ones. These are my favorite, which is the Dusty Millers. Really, really like those. Um, purple pansies, some yellow ones, and all that jazz in there. So now we're gonna come right over here. I also cut from this today too. Um, a yellow, a yellow snapdragon. Um, we got some bel belgonias, begonias in here, and some colas. Got some nostur um, nasturgium. I hope I said that right. Everybody said it different. Uh, but I have some of those Also another Belgonian and some colas in there and then from seed I did some more African marigolds um, The Cracker Jack blend and then I put another pink um, snapdragon up here. So that's what's in that one um, Then on over here right here is my um, Red ghost pepper in here is some um, Carrots, these are the Chardonnay carrots. Chardonnay, uh, that's what I call them, y'all. Turnip, uh, purple, white turnips in here. Some kohlrabi in here. These are my long icicle radishes right here. Right here are some beans, the golden wax. Um, right here is a lot of beans. <laughs> Um, these were the kids had um, did so. This is my bean, the Cherokee wax, Cherokee wax beans right here, and these are gonna be the three color beans, and then we have some llama beans right here. Um, right over in this bin, we have beets. These are my beets. So, yes.
they are doing really really good so the beats right there then right here we got some super daddy um snap um snap sugar snaps super super daddy sugar snap <laughs> okay they are flowering now y'all so we're gonna have beans soon they just started flowering so we should have beans really really soon so happy about that i was gonna pull these up these are the little um sugar snaps because I think when the when that when it got real cold and then it came back up and we had the frost and then it the weather dropped and all that. I started getting this dead part, but I left them to see and now they are starting to flower. So I am gonna continue what I'm doing and leave them. Um I can't do nothing about how the weather did. So I am gonna leave them, let them flower and see if they produce beans. Uh well actually these are the sugar daddies. Those are just the sugar snaps. These are the sugar daddies. I'll be getting a mix because these are so big. <laughs> um, right here was supposed to be sweet potatoes. It looked like a bunch of weeds. Um, it was the sweet potato seeds. And I'm going to eventually put something in there because I don't think they're coming up. These are my colorful potatoes that we did from seed. They have taken off. These are the colorful potatoes. And these are my iced potatoes. Well, we call them iced potatoes back home. That's why I call them, but if you are not familiar with that, they white potatoes, that's all. And then I got to get another bucket right here. Um, because these are my walking onions, okay? And so these are like the onion bubble, but what they'll do is they'll fall over. And I need to have another bucket with dirt in it because they'll continue to produce and everything like that. So I need to get another bucket and put right here for those. Right here is Hubby's pepper bed. Um, then he has different type of peppers in here. He have a hot cayenne, um, a jalapeno, a purple bell, sweet banana, high banero, um, another hot cayenne, a poblano, another hot cayenne. And this is one I had started from seed that I got tired of over in the bucket. So he grabbed it and put it in here and it is doing its thing, but it's very slow. So. He has time for that. I don't. And this is his red um, ghost pepper. Um, right here, we got some colas flowers in there, different colors. This is a Latresse bulb plant that we started from bulb. It looks like it's about to flower. If you can come close right here, that is going to be really, really pretty in a vase. It looks like it's about to flower and it is doing this thing. So, hey. These are empty buckets that has fertilized dirt when I um when I mended the soil and stuff and fertilized it, I got to put those transplants in. It was so hot today, y'all. I just uh these are some more colas right here. Um right here are the little bulb flowers that the kids had um planted. So they are growing really well. They like to come out and see what they planted. Right over here is uh, my blackberry bush, but now that I look, it's doing something. This is the one I just bought. And you see right here, the leaves is doing something. Like, there may be just new growth. I think that's what it is. Yeah, there's new growth coming in. But we got blackberries starting to come. This is the one I had from last year. Um, It's flowering. It's doing its thing. Right over here is my watermelon jubilee that I just transplanted. They doing their thing. Um, right here is the Baker Creek Agent Melon that I just transplanted. And I started all these from seeds. Right here is my cantaloupes. They are growing, growing, growing. They're going to be ready to start trellising down and everything like that. Um, over here is my blueberry bushes. I just bought this one this year. This is the one I had um, from last year, and it is doing its thing, okay? Um, right here is my kumquat. I was going to pull it up, but then it started trying to put on like one or two leaves. I'm going to wait and see what she do. I'm being patient, y'all. Over here, I started all these from seeds. This is my watermelon garden leader. Um... Over here is my mango melons. I saw those from seeds. They are growing. Some more mango melons right here. 
right here is my pomegranate bush remember it was like that when i got it y'all it was so so little so so little now she is growing like crazy so yeah she was just a little stick um right here i feel like it's starting to rain y'all right here is my lemon tree and i think i watered it too much the leaves was falling off from it but it was flowering and then with the temperature change i really really noticed with the temperature change it really started like dropping leaves but now that i'm watering it less i'm seeing you can get close right here i'm having new leaves coming back so i'm gonna leave it alone um watch how much water i put on it and when it like i say when we went when we were hot and then we had that big drop it was after the frost we even had three more days after it there was a big drop and it really just started tripping so i just like let her calm down even got new growth there. I see new leaves coming. So I'm leaving her be. That's a Meyer lemon. This is my tangerine that I had cut down last year. And look, y'all. Doing really, really good. So I had cut all the leaves off. It was a stick because it had some type of it fungus or something going on. And it, was, it came from the nursery like that pretty much. So I cut her all the way down and she doing good. Over here is, I had been too long bought that, um, and it was a stick like that. It's a grape, so I'm waiting for it to do what it's do. Y'all remember I bought this earlier this year. This is my muscadine, and I bought it. It was just like sticks, just like this. She is continuing to put on leaves and do what she got to do. Right here, I haven't been too long bought this. This was another raspberry bush that I bought to go with this one right here. So... So now we're going to get ready to head up to the top deck. Okay, you guys. So I'm just going to start up here. This is all the stuff that's germinating and has to be transplanted. So most more peppers, 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 um, all different type ones and stuff like that. Got more ground cherries that's going to come. And all this stuff, of course, is from seeds, y'all. And down here is the stuff that I separated that I have to go ahead and get done. More tomato plants and eggplants. I got to get those out. Um, honeycomb tomatoes. More eggplant. Um, and different things like that that I'll be transplanting hopefully tomorrow. Um, then right here is my sweet mint that I just cut. Um the other day so it's going to be growing back so now let's go over here is my butter crunch lettuce um i just transplanted the georgia collards um to this so um i'm gonna see if they're gonna perk up some but i transplanted those right here is and i did a harvest the other day of this stuff too um this is my turnip my purple top turnip um, this is some Swiss chard and I did everything from seeds except for the purple kale The purple kale I actually bought at starts, but everything else I did from seeds um, Swiss chard, Swiss chard Mustard, uh, mustard southern um, giant curl collards right here um, Got some Georgia southern collards right there some more Swiss chard over here is my mint um, not mint, it's my basil, my green and purple basil over there. Um, I had cut it down when I got it for the store so I could have the newer leaves. So, yeah. So, let's go right here, too. Um, I have some flowers. So, this is the Latrice flower. It's the same type of flower that's down there that's fin the flower. Um, I'm about to clean it up a bit. Right here is, I love this flower. Um... I got to take off the ones that already bloom. I got to come out here and do some cleaning up. Y'all, it's a lot of cleaning up when you're gardening. Like, I clean up every day. These are uh, um, pretty, 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 pretty. Right here is my yellow rose bush. No, is it, yeah, it's the yellow rose bush. This one is going to be a red one once it blooms. Um, I started these sunny meadows from um, seeds. They're like it's about to flower for me. That was my daffodil. They grew out, and I'm going to have to cut the dead off because y'all know they'll grow. And then they'll die off, and they'll come back next season. Up here is some garden sage. Um, right here is a Delilah. 
think I said that right, Delilah, which is the same thing as this. Um, I started this one from seed, though. This is my lavender, and look, y'all. It's flowering. This is my lavender. Um, then up here, I kind of cleaned these out. I don't have much up here, but I am going to be putting stuff up here. Uh, this is a Swiss chart I transplanted. I'm going to see what it does. Um, up here is my Lacito kale and my red romaine lettuce. I have to harvest some of this. You may know it as the dinosaur kale. I wish y'all could feel it, y'all. It feels so good. Um, right here is my dwarf uh, patio to, um, tomato plant. It's like a cherry tomato. And it's put on a lot of flowers. And it does have tomatoes in here. Got a lot of little ones coming, too. Um, so yeah, um, let's see, up here, it's a zilly poo that I start, zilly poo, zilly pot that I started from seed, y'all, the double mix, and it is starting to go to flower, so I'm excited about that to see how pretty that's gonna be. Um, right here is my pear tree. Um, right here is some zinnia, um, zinnia polar bear that I started from seed right here. Um, then over here is my peaches. Yes, 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 my peach tree. The peaches are getting bigger. Um, right here is going to be my plum tree. I'm waiting on it to flower and do its thing. Um, down here is strawberries. So I have strawberries and this one, and all these are my ground cherries. And a lot of I told y'all the flies here, y'all is crazy. They here, they crazy. That's why I didn't want to. That's why I'm particular about the fertilizer. And they at that organic fertilizer that I got from Miracle Grow because that stuff stinks. And I just fertilized, and that's why they all up here. So, but um, yeah. So I have those. Um. All around here is more strawberries, and we actually have strawberries coming on here. My ground cherries, I start all of them from seeds. They are doing really, really good, y'all. And y'all know I had to bring my, my fig tree up here, too, because the squirrel's taking my figs. So they took all of them that was on there, so I'm waiting for some more to come, but she is doing great, y'all. I had this fig tree from last year, okay? And then right here is just some chocolate mint. Just some chocolate um, mint that I just cut back. Okay, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this garden tour, this garden update. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified each and every time that I upload a video. Please share this video so it may, because it may inspire somebody else to guard and everything like that. So with that being said, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and get off the frogs. It's like, it seems like they laughing at us or something. They making all these sounds and all this. But with that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time, y'all. Happy gardening. Bye. Love my